no benefit. Ukrainian military spoke about problems with Leopard, Abrams and Bradley. The benefit of German Leopard tanks in Ukraine turned out to be zero. They are short-lived. This is due to Russian dominance in the air. The Spanish publication El País wrote about this, citing its sources in the Ukrainian special services. According to the military, Leopard and Abrams tanks suffer significant damage from Russian drones because these armored vehicles lack sufficient short-range anti-aircraft defense. Armored infantry vehicles from the US Bradley are described by the Ukrainian military as old vehicles already in use that last at the front in Ukraine for only a few months. According to a source for El País, in one of the companies of the 47th Brigade, out of 11 such infantry fighting vehicles, there are only three left. And another Bradley infantry fighting vehicle was sent for repairs because its starter stopped working. Western howitzers supplied from the EU are losing the necessary accuracy due to intensive use and most of them have run out of ammunition. The 47th Brigade is reported to have lost 30% of its soldiers in the last three months as under pressure from the political leadership and international allies, Ukraine needed urgent results at the front and the army embarked on a near suicidal operation without air control and against very strong Russian defenses. The military said that now for every armored vehicle of the Ukrainian armed forces, there are 10 Russian infantry vehicles. For every Ukrainian soldier defending in the Avdiivka area, there are 30 Russians going on the assault. I know one company of 80 soldiers which lost 65 people in a week. Previously, for every Ukrainian soldier who left the battlefield wounded or killed, there were three Russian ones. Now we are almost equal in losses, stated the source of the publication. Recently, Foreign Affairs wrote that of the Leopard 2 tanks transferred to Ukraine, a third have already been knocked out, the rest are not operational. Also, the Ukrainian military in an interview with CNN said that Bradley infantry fighting vehicles do not withstand frosts well, but they provide high firepower. On the night of April 20th, there was a drone attack on the Smolensk region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that Ukrainian drones attacked the fuel energy complex. ASA result, an explosion and fire occurred at the Centroneft product oil base belonging to the Luke Oil Company. The number of victims is not reported. AT night there was also a drone attack on energy facilities in Kaluga, Bryansk, and Belgorod regions. Electricity has been cut off in some areas. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, a total of 50 drones attacked the territory of the country. Прям кто-то у... нехило, блядь. Уже 8 взрывов. Смотри, что происходит у нас тут.
ਬਬਲਗਮ